Now I want to speak to you about holding the ball across the seam. And what I mean by that is you hold the seam and it's not pointing down the wicket. It's at right angles to, uh, to the pitch that you, you're bowling on. The reason you do this, it really becomes as a surprise to the, uh, to the batsman. You can run in and bowl some with the seam straight down, but the seam hits the pitch and there's quite a lot of resistance when the seam hits it. So the ball will come off a whole lot slower. If you take the ball and you hold it across the seam like that, and you will see the fast bowlers turn around and, and, uh, on, on the TV and hold the ball like this, they're trying to land it on the smooth part. So the ball then skids on a whole lot quicker as to what's going on. If you do that and you bowl in a bouncer and you run in and you bowl a bouncer and it's a slower bouncer because it's hit the seam, and then you run in and you bowl one across the seam like that and it, you put in the extra effort and it, you get it to skid on, it gets onto the batsman much quicker. What he thinks is the speed that the ball's coming onto him because of the, the other deliveries you've had changes dramatically and you can easily beat him for pace and catch him uh, that he doesn't time the ball properly, hits it up in the air and square leg or fine leg get around there and catch it easily. But try it and see what happens and particularly when you're bowling a bouncer, do that. Okay. Let me just remind you of this. When you're bowling, we all run and bowl with the seam straight up and down like that. But the seam has a resistance on the pitch. Just try turning it sideways like that so that the seam is at right angles to, uh, to the pitch and see if you can't land it on the uh, smooth part of the ball because then it will skid on much quicker because there's no resistance on the pitch. Just try that because if you can get a bouncer and you have a different paced bouncer, you will get uh, wickets as a result.